It's New Year and I wanted to share my last dive of 2013 and the first dive of 2014. Schoolmaster Snappers are high on the wreck, a landing craft sunk as an attraction by a submarine tour company called Freeport Bahamas Exploration. That company was short-lived, but the wreck has been attracting fish and coral for almost 20 years since the company's demise. A pair of spot fin butterfly fish do not seem to be bothered by the bright light I am flooding their area with. A grouper moves towards my light. Close up you can see she is being cleaned by a couple of gobies. The grouper is careful not to hurt the gobies, making sure they are not in her mouth when she moves. Lionfish like this wreck. This is a fresh recruit. The resident lionfish have started to hide when divers are around due to the fishing pressure. I plan on getting back to my lionfish education videos sometime this year. Stay tuned. Oddly enough, this one startles and darts away from my attention. Melinda's new favorite, a cherub fish. Very rare here, it is the smallest member of the angelfish family. I am tracking coral recruitment. I'll explain in an upcoming video. Another video I am working on concerns small wrasses. This is a family of bluehead wrasse, named for the male. The dive is starting to end. As I start up the ascent line, I've been to 84 feet for 33 minutes. Air consumption so far, 1155 PSI. Log dive number 16,065. Taking my time on the way up, I am surrounded by a school of bar jacks as I say goodbye to 2013's diving. Deteriorating conditions keep the boat in the harbor on New Year's Day, but that doesn't keep me out of the water. Students are taking their open water dives, so I am in the inland water. It is not the same as out on the reef but there's still a lot to see and I have projects planned that will require filming here. Inland and nearshore water is where the juvenile fish grow. These waters are biologically very productive. Sunlight floods the water allowing many different plants to grow and provides a base to the food chain. Among the primary consumers of plants are several species of urchin. The most common has a habit of holding various bits of bottom debris on top to try to blend and avoid predators. This type is comparatively rare and is usually found wedged into holes and crevices. Upside down mangrove jellies claim a lot of the bottom real estate. As they ventilate their tentacles, the slow pulse is mesmerizing. They have symbiotic algae in their tissue which allow them to feed directly from sunlight. Coral grows inland, turning seawater into solid rock. Some coral species are adept at tolerating the lower visibility and variable salinity, allowing them to grow in the mangrove environment. Over time, this can give us more island. Tunicates are a strange creature that straddle the divide between animals with and without backbone. Anemones are simple animals with a dead-end digestive system, taking in food and excreting it from the same orifice. This begs the question, are you staring down its mouth or up its butt? And on that note, here is wishing you the best in 2014. I hope I get to dive with you this year, and remember to subscribe to see upcoming videos of life underwater off Grand Bahama. Thank you for viewing.